Okay. What is that? Think you killed it. Whoa, what's that about? Not our concern, boy. Focus. Boy. Yes, sir. What does it say? Hmm. Something about an eternal war for the light. I don't get it. If both sides need it, why not just share it? Greed. You will find it a common cause for war. They keep murdering the White Elves. It is war. The end of one. The robed one's lost. Oh. What are they attacking us for? We didn't do anything. More will come. Did you say something? No. Oh, okay. At least we're getting closer to the light. Wait, is that Sindri? What speaks to you? Fine piece of work. Travel safe, you two. What'd you say? I said nothing. Really? Okay. Did your mother speak of this realm? Not much. Just that since the elves are always fighting over the light, they kept them isolated. Again, I said nothing. Where? Could have sworn you said something. Ah! Ah! What is it, boy? Oh. Voices! You don't hear that? I hear nothing. Mm. It's going away now. It was screaming. Lots of voices. Angry. You really didn't hear that? No. It felt... Evil. Look, should we try talking to them? No, 
But maybe they need help. They do not stop us, so they do not concern us. But they maybe... do not concern us. the elves can't work things out. How find such a beautiful place? The blue door! That's gotta be the entrance. Let's go! Careful, boy. What are they doing? The bridge is up. We covered the crystal with that stuff. Why? To prevent reinforcements. Prepare yourself! <laughs> Maybe we can fix the bridge from down there? Okay, so that did something, I think. problem with us. We do not belong here. Wait, combined together like that, they kind of look like a room. It doesn't make sense. Come, back to the boat. can't work things out. I'll find such a beautiful place, but war makes it ugly. Oh, we will finish that later. Father, the pillars and ring form an elvish rune. What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. Yep. It's water, all right. Boy! It was the voices again, but different voices, less angry. They were asking for help. We are here for the light. I do not care who they are, nor what they want. You never care about anything. You have something to say? No. Luger. What's happening? Whoa! Look what we found! Father? Yes? The voices I heard, uh, it was hard to make out, but way in the back I'm pretty sure I heard... Mother. That is not possible. But I know what I heard. Atreus, enough. He looks different. Look at those horns. Behind me, boy. That can't be good.
down to your chest. Let's see. Where are the seals? Side hallway will get us to the temple? We will find out. You were wrong back there. Oh? I know Mother's voice better than anyone. It was her. She is gone, boy. Speak no more of this. Fine. You sure the witch is okay? I hate to think she died helping us. She knew what she was doing. Okay. If we cut enough away, the bridge above us should reappear. Right. Expect resistance. Right. Come <laughs> on. 
Watch our backs, boy. The light makes more than bridges. Maybe this will spit us out on top. Look! The blue door! We made it! You know, I will never get used to walking on solid light. The door. There's no seam. What? We have a problem. These doors do not open. Hello? I don't get it. Why even have a door then? Hello? Come. We will find another way in. Those bells. A Nornir chest must be nearby.
Hey, Sindri, we found something interesting. Oh, really? Whoa. You killed an ancient? Yes. Was it difficult? Yes. Is that all you're gonna give me? Yes. How are you here before us, dwarf? We were told our path was the only one between realms. Well, it may be the only way for you to travel, but we dwarves are full of surprises. That is not an answer. Ah, hang on to that sense of wonder. There's so little mystery once you've amassed the wealth of arcane knowledge that I have. Where to comb the realms for exotic resources. How to craft them into creations that defy imagination. To the novice, I'm sure it all seems like magic, but... Uh, oh, all right. It's magic. Are you happy now? Yes, yes, come in! Wear it in good health. Fine piece of work. If I say so myself. I think that's a keeper. I don't suppose you could try keeping that clean? Amazing. Wear it in good health. Be seeing ya. This way. We're inside. Of course. That's impressive. Can you read it? Sir. From darkness, keep safe the light. Didn't do a very good job, did they?
There, the light. They've covered it up with that stuff. How would they do that? Look, another light off. What's he doing? Oh no! Why are they killing him? He didn't do anything. Do not assume. You are seeing the end of a war, boy. You do not know what led to this moment. But he didn't even defend himself. That was his choice. We make ours. Is near. Look for a way inside. That did it. Look, more light bridges. Follow me. Restoring all the pathways. Okay. Aww. I don't think we're supposed to be in here. Quiet. Side. Hey, when we make it to the light, how do you think we get it into the Bifrost? The witch said to step into it. She did? When she was ripped away from this realm. Oh, how'd I miss that? You were more concerned with her safety than our goal. <laughs> Quiet! <laughs> I have him! <laughs> Your knife boy! <laughs> Sticky. 
Gina, Duna! Another one! Stay back. The light! Yes, we are near our goal. But we must be careful. Understand? God. There. When it falls, be ready. We will need to move quickly. Okay. Behind here to touch our flank. Yes, sir. Between your volleys. There are many targets. You will not miss. A narrow path negates superior numbers. Stay focused. Injured. I'm fine. Wow. It's beautiful. The light. It's making the whole temple reappear. It's the source of all of it. Wait. It's... It's singing. I hear... I hear her! I told you I heard her! Do you think she's in there? Ah! Ah! Ugh. That really hurt. I felt like my hand was on fire. Stay here. But I want to Stay go. here. Use it as a last resort. You're giving me your axe. I'm letting you hold my axe. It's not a gift. Still. to come back. You left me here alone. Atreus? Alone with him. He always leaves. He's never here. He doesn't want me and he never will. I 
don't know him and he doesn't know me. He doesn't seem to want to. I'm strong. I'm smart. I'm not what he thinks I am. I know better. He doesn't talk to me. He doesn't teach me. It should have been him. Do you hear me? Him, not you. Except... I don't mean that. You know I love him. I just wish he was better. I know he can be. So if he tries, I'll try. But if he doesn't, please come back. I know you're out there somewhere. You should go before they come back. I hope you got what you needed. Yes. Look, there's our exit. But there's no light to make a bridge. We're trapped. Boy, the witch's bowstring is useless. Hold it out. On my mark, loose your arrow into the stone. It worked. We can now make our way back. Come. That stairway's blocked. There's a white crystal ahead, just laying there. Maybe it'll help us get out of this stupid place.
Let us make our way back up. Boy, over here. You gonna carry that everywhere? I just might. Oh look, the blue door that's not a door. And a sand bowl. But how do you expect me to reach it? Reach the bowl now. Uh huh. What does this mean? See. Remember the shape. 
Yeah, I know. Go ahead. Greatest man or tallest tree begins as any more than me. Yeah, and see, stupid rails. So, it's a door after all. Great. The one with the horns is back. What does he want now? I hate that guy. He will be back. We really gotta go back down here again? Do you see any other way? Then. Light. Make do. It would help me if you would hold the light up so I could see where I'm shooting. Use your ears. Adapt. I am. Ah! <laughs> 
Plan on carrying the crystal everywhere like the last one? If need be. We can use the same sand bowl that brought us down the first time. I want to get out of here. Okay. Tricky. Very tricky.
No, that can't be. What did it say? That we made a grave mistake. Did we help the wrong side? I... Let me guess. You're gonna be smug and say you told me we shouldn't get involved. That is enough. We... Do you remember the answer? Yeah, yeah. Boy, read this. Boy, what's that say? The only time you want to talk to me is when you need Do you want to tell me something? I said, the only time you care to talk to me is when you need me to translate for you. If mom was if here... If your mother was still alive, we would not be here at all. Atreus. Forget it. Fine. Who? You know. Oh, she was not there. Not like you would even care if she was. Mind your tongue, boy! Until our journey is over, one of us must remain focused. Do not mistake my silence for lack of grief. Mourn how you wish. Leave me to my own. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. No. Why would you? You do not know my ways. I know it has not been easy. In the light, I felt only moments pass. If that is of some comfort to you, that's good to know. Really? So, should we go back to Midgard? Face the Black Breath? Or do you think there's more to see in this realm? It's sad the elves can't work things out. I'll find such a beautiful place, but war makes it ugly. You see with the eyes of a child. In war, a soldier sees beauty only in the blood of his enemy. The rest of him is lost. Sometimes never to return. You... know about war, don't you? Wars are fought for two things. Survival or advantage. Battles may be won by the better soldier. Wars are won by those who are willing to sacrifice everything to ensure victory. How observant. I am known for my attention to detail. There's an abandoned temple in Midgard that a fellow dwarf converted to his personal storeroom. Packed it with all sorts of treasures he collected during his travels throughout the realms. Throughout the realms? Which ones did he go to? What did he collect? Fafnir was a, shall we say, aggressive collector of magical artifacts. The more he acquired, the more he desired. There was no realm too dangerous, no relic too hazardous. He once ventured deep into Niflheim for a whetstone of all things. Huh. I bet that was quite the whetstone. Does this story have a point? Yes, it does. I just happen to have an entry stone to Fafnir's storeroom. You might find something useful in there. Neat. Thanks, Sindri. You're very welcome. Oh, and uh, if you find that whetstone, well, it sure would be nice of you to bring it to me. Father, I have a confession to make. All those voices in my head... Well, this wasn't the first time. Back when we met Brock, his animal warned me about something hiding in the trees. That's why she didn't want to cross. She told you? 
Well, I could just feel what she was feeling. What she was afraid of. Hmm. It happens again. You tell me. Understand? I promise. We just came back from another realm, and we met your brother. Wait, not that order. Did you let that seed saw put hand to your blade? Hmm? You do know he lost his talent, right? Just up and left him one day. <laughs> Tried taking me down with him. Hmm. Did he botch up on a girl? Quite the opposite. Yeah, even a blind pig farts up a truffle now and again. But you know what really counts? Consistency. And I got that coming out of all of my parts. What did you do? It's better. to walk across the bridge to the Heim Tower. Are we going to the Black Breath or exploring? Your choice. Look, we rode past that statue of Thor earlier when we left the Witcher's Park. And what direction is that? It's mid-morning. The sun is over there, so... That's south. Southwest? Good.
told you. We should come back with the cipher. Oh, look! The witch's magic is still covering those scorn poles. Saves us some time. about this. Father, do you, do you think I could carry her now? No. But I... I said no. Okay. So who do you think carved the face in the mountain? You would know better than I. Thanks. Now watch your step. Carelessness will only delay us. Right. Well, there's the Black Breath again. What do we do now? We see if the witch was right. She was right. Come, let us finish this. Then we climb. You know, 
Mother said the Giants used to visit the Midgard Mountains before they disappeared. Disappeared? Yeah, I guess they just up and left one day. No one knows why. Perhaps they returned to their home. Tjodenheim? Maybe. I wonder if the face in the mountain was a tribute to some important giant. The Mel, we made it! More black breath. stories of a giant with a deer head. Wonder who he is. Nothing. The floor boy. That doesn't mean anything. Something's missing. Think there's a second light crystal around here? Maybe the riddle will... What does it say? No yoked beast, nor fearful thrall, nor rooted tree, doth know my call. Hmm. Follow me, Atreus. Oh, how do you think that got up there? Oh. This place must have been important to the giants. It's like they're testing us. Okay, that looks right. Is it the answer? Freedom. Sure, that works. Go ahead. Sure. Ross. What you doing? Oh, thought maybe there'd be a bridge. Huh. Your giants mean to test us further. There's a crystal in that torch holder. Should I light it? That helps, right?
Guess we have to go down and go up. These passages seem too small for giants. <laughs> Why do you laugh? Oh, you're serious. I am always serious. I forget. Mom always said you never took an interest in history. Giants are just a race, like elves and hold your folk. Doesn't mean they're big. What of the world serpent? Okay, in that case, giant also means big. But there's only one of them.
boy, another light crystal. Just look at this place. It feels so... Dead. I was gonna say ancient, but that works too. Uh, this is a lot of bodies. Tell me what you see. Well, they look like men, not giants. Correct. Be you seeking treasure? See the traps? Oh yeah. Lucky for us, they set them all off. Be grateful these stay dead. to watch the entrance to Jotunheim while the giants sleep. Think he's still there? I do not know. is still our goal. We find a way up. Mom knew this was the Giant's Mountain? No. The request has been more complicated than she could have foreseen. Hmm. 
It's a name, I think. Razzly. It means terror. What's that? Weird. There's a candle all tangled up with a string and some sort of animal. Some kind of lantern? No wick, though. That is of no use to us. The Bifrost lights our way. Hey, what do you think lit these torches? The dead don't need light. Eyes open. Stop that. Come on, that was just... Okay. Whoa. What is all this? Where are we? A mine. And if this claw reaches the summit, our goal is near. All right, how do we use it? <laughs> Looks like something's supposed to roll on this. <laughs> Atreus, to me. There's got to be a way to make that claw work. No, that's not going anywhere. What does it say? Yes, sir. That's funny. How so? One hand wrote, Yotnar only. And another wrote, and also doors. Should we add to it? No. There's a machine with gears and rope by that torch. The machinery in here looks almost dwarven. Yeah. The stone one, that's definitely Yoden. You know, I think the giants not only mined the mountain, but actually lived here.
We'll need something to get through this one. something we can use here. Let's come back. I think I see how this works. The claws on one side, and if we get this unstuck. stuck under that rock that was careless yes sir sorry sir hmm. stop but maybe we can find our way up through there after you know getting rid of those things thinking I could have gotten you past it, you big sack of meat. I got ways around most everything, especially up here. Time was, my folk had the run of this joint. Improved the design of the Jotnar traps and built workarounds to boot. Why you think they're so devious? Oh, they remain. Watch out for traps. How big is this place? It is a mountain. Big. More traps. There's a tunnel, but you won't fit. Take it. Okay. Okay. Of course. Yeah! <laughs> 
heavy. I can move it. And move! And we're stuck. Cards still attach to the... I see that. Let's go! Broken. Leave it. What could they be for? There's something special about them. I can feel it. Which way? We don't have to leave. I'm sure we can figure this out. Still need to free the rope. Think you can use the cart to get us up there? I don't think that's a good idea. We might snap the rope. Well, that looks heavy. No way. You did it! I bet we can make the rope wheel work now. Why give us the way to the top?
back to the wheel. I should hold it. Here we go. Do you think this goes all the way to the top? We will see soon enough. Something feels strange up there. We're heading into danger. Do not concern yourself with what might be. Focus on what is, and be vigilant. Yes, sir. Not the top, but we're closer. There's a note. A giant's prayer. They're asking their ancestors to watch over them. To guide them home. Boy. Wait. I think I know how it works. Watch. them to watch over mother. Do you think they'll watch over us on the way to the top? Come boy, it is a long way up. Whoa! What just- Stay back! The tunnel boy. More tests. Oh, come on! That is not helping. See you on the other side.
Looks like the only way up is with the lift. Somehow. Another mining room. It may not be as long a way up as we thought. the summit. How far do you think we'll be able to see? The lake? The world serpent? Our house? We will see when we get there. Until then, eyes open. Whoa! Atreus! I'm fine. Just lost my balance for a moment. You know, for someone so strong, you sure worry a lot. It serves me well, and how I keep us alive. I guess. Not a terribly fun way to live, though. For fun. I get it. I should worry more. Is this going to get off? No. We're stuck. I think part of the lift is stuck in that wall. Can you get it free? Father, after we scatter Mother's ashes, what then? What comes next? Nothing comes next. We go home. 
That's it? The adventure is over? For now. But we will have much to do. You were right earlier on the boat after cutting down the last tree. You said it felt like something had changed. And it has. And our home is no longer safe. But it will be again. And we must continue your trading. Okay. Up, boy, and stay behind me. Yes, Hold. Whoa, what was that? Looks like a root of the Yggdrasil tree. Is that its sap? Crystallized sap. And there is power inside. Incredible! I can't believe we fought a dragon. I was aiming for his eyes, but I kept losing my footing. Do you think this is their home? Did they move in after the giants left? Or are they why the giants left? Boy, the air grows thin here. No more questions. Breathe. Oh, yes. I see. Someone's screaming. Wait, boy. It's Sindri. Can you kill something that big? If we can catch it off balance. I can distract him. What are you doing? We have to help him. Break right. Find an angle. Wait for my mark. Thank you. Hey, Oakley! Over here!
have a plan. Be ready to lower the crane on my mark. No, this thing works. I do not care. Be ready. We did it. And you! Ah! Uh, but, 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 nobody's killed a dragon for hundreds of years. Not since the grand culling of the worms. And unless I'm mistaken, you did all that for me. You are mistaken. The dragon was simply in our path, nothing more. You deny it all you want, but you saved me, and that deserves compensation. What are these? Rated mistletoe arrows, straighter than Heimdall and perfectly weighted. Oh. Uh, thanks? Oh. Okay. Hold on. Uh, ooh, not that. Um, have you seen my brother again? Yeah, he said you lost your talent. <laughs> oh, and that I'm selfish. No, I'm sure. That I value a weapon's look. No, over its purpose. That I'm pretentious. No, and uptight. Fussy! I know what he thinks, but he can't hurt me any- Ah! Burn that. I do not have time for this. No, 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 wait, 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 wait! I have a better idea. What? I just need a tooth from that dragon. Watch where you grab that. Oh, ah, uh, never mind. Oh, so unclean. Oh, so so unclean. Oh, oh, the smell. Perfect. That should do. Oh. Yeah. I am not touching that. Just hold it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, run that along the string of your son's bow. Just humor me. Atreus, your bow. Two passes should do it. Ah, gently, now. Oh, sure. Now you're impressed. Um... How do I explain it? Oh, oh, I see. You figured it out on your own, then. Just... Never mind. I wasn't just explaining the beautiful and complex artistry of my craft or anything. No, just... Anything to help you. Yep. Feels like it wasn't that long ago we were hunting deer. Now we fought dark elves, and trolls, and ogres, and a dragon. I feel like we could be anything now. We win because we are determined, disciplined, not because we feel ourselves superior. Sure, I know. 
It's just, it feels good to be strong, you know? Yes, I know. Stuck. Wonder if there's another crystal around we could use on those roots. There we go. You want me to shatter it? Oh, I'm gonna like this. That's strange though. That one didn't completely blow up. That crystal, I shot it once, but it's glowing again. on the other side. I will never get tired of shattering things with this. This one's called Emir. Mother tried to tell me this one, but I think I was too young. Are giants coming out of his armpits? I think that might be Odin stabbing him.
boy. Sir. Huh. Neat. Atreus. It's getting colder. We must be near the top. Not long now, Mon. River. Strap broke when we fought the dragon. It's all right. I can hold it. Stop. The broken quiver will slow your draw. Pain we endure. Faulty weaponry we do not. This will do for now. Good? Steady, boy. Mind your footing. You hear those voices too, right? Yes. Be silent. That sounds like the same man who came to our house. You said you killed him. Shh. I thought he brought company this time. It must be important if the sons of Thor deign to grace me with their presence. Tell me, you two still tripping over yourselves to impress Daddy? The tattooed man. Tracks show he now travels with a child. Where would they go next? Why would I know that? You're the smartest man alive, aren't you? Smarter than all the dead ones, too. You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Balder, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me, 
So take your questions, take your threats, take these two worthless wankers and piss off! When no one's looking, we'll be back for your other eye. Don't you forget, we're everywhere. We really are, aren't we? Ah, the very topic of conversation. A tattooed man traveling with a child. Boy, well, we check their path. Make sure we're all alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. He doesn't know what you are. And I would keep it that way. Oh. Who are you? Me? I'm the greatest ambassador to the gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Nine Realms. I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. But Odin's had me imprisoned here for 109 winters. I'm a clever lad. I can piece it together. I promise. Given time. Nobody there, just like I said. The boy's mother is dead. She wished her. She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard, it's in Jotunheim, realm of the giants. No! That could not be what she meant. Take a look. This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scraping the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. No here. Can we just take that bridge? We have a Bifrost. When the giants destroyed all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is, there's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open. We're going to Jodenheim, right? It's your best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. What do we do? Yes! First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? And Odin made sure that no weapon, not even Thor's hammer, could free my body from these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone who can reanimate my head using the old magic. Old magic? Mm. There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do worth a try. But if she fails, he will be dead. He tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Gordon himself sees to it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. Every single day. This... This isn't living. Very well. Oh, I can't watch this. Brother. In case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. Boy, the longer you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. There is much about me I would not have him know. Uh, so you value your privacy more than your son? I'm going to cut off your head now. Fair enough. to find the long-lost realm of the giants. That's... that's... 
Inconvenient. Yeah, that's just what I was going to say. to the witch's house yes the woods with the blood red leaves south of the lake i know just where to go hope she made it back from alfheim and can bring Mimir back he seemed nice before you cut off his head this place. This must be a branch of the world tree. Boy, stay on the path. Right, right, I know. I can't believe it was Balder that came to our house. The Aesir god. Balder. And you fought him. And won. Yes. One of Odin's sons, Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. Okay. You know, it's silly, but I secretly hope we find a giant somewhere in that mountain. I guess they really did leave Midgard, except for the serpent. He may be the last of his kind. Are you the last of your kind, too? Is that why you don't like to talk about My kind? I mean, your family. Before Mother and I. Where you came from. A mother, a father? Now is not the time for that. Yes, sir. break. Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No, Pat. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. You're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again, hmm? Let's see the damage. Mm, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Hmm. Is he eating well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Times he gets so wrapped up in his work, Sentry has it the sense to sip or suck. And if he does remember, good luck getting him to cook his own meat. Guess I got all the stomach in the family. <laughs> Along with the smarts. You missed me. Boy, what is the path back to the witch? First, we need to find a boat. <laughs> Do you remember the way back to the witch from here? That way, behind the big statue of Thor. What 
other stories have you got? There was a young man who was caught stealing and condemned to die. His mother came to visit his prison. She was a kind woman who could only give love. But her son, the thief, met her with rage and bit off her ear. What? What? Because the boy had always been a thief, and his mother had taught him only love and nothing of consequences. Had he been taught discipline instead, he might have lived longer. Sure, but her ear, that's not right. This is wrong. Where's the symbol? The water dropped. And the serpent rose. Right. I knew that. She's really powerful, but you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft, and we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No, but you may feed it to the fish. Okay. out. Turn back Aesir. Guess the gods aren't welcome here. <gasps> there he is! I hope he remembers us. Interesting. How's it going, Charlie? Is your witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. Or what it sounded like in my head, anyway. Charlie. Enemy 
is down. What does it say? Yes, sir. Say there need things upon all who trespass. What does it say? Yes, sir. Death to the Raven God, Lord of the Hang. <sighs> Father, she is here. It is so good to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait. Where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me. Now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. <sighs> now, what's this about a head? Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? <sighs> Take him to the table. Hey, Miller. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well... Thankfully, his head hasn't decayed much, and his brain is still intact. <sighs> nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water, and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It worked! Let me see him. Mamir? You there? Yes. Good. Oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either. Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir once, yes. But no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. But... Now. You're welcome. Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value the privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, Head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's Temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. You better to tell us the way. The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. Who do? It's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist.
So, Mamir, why did Freya spit in your face? No. Speak of Balder. He claims nothing harms him. Aye, Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Mimir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Hope he's not broken. Mimir, we're on the lake. Perfect. Dock us near the bridge. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. Ed, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! I put my lips to the horn. That statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. All right, wish me luck. Uh, ooh. Ha, ha, ha. You envy me. I've still got it, lads. You remembers me. Why you? direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. That one on the peak where we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is, and it's not far. He looked kind of mad for a moment there. Ah, that. He thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober.
Mike, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. Another name. Air. It's the name of one of the Valkyries. That's quite curious. Look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Focus up! Oh! Nightmares! Ugh! What awful pain! way to the chisel. Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Hey, Mir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore, but a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? You know what? I'll tell this one later. Gulfi. You were taken from this realm too early. You who walks among the living. My beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace. Yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sather magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death. If only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. Father? Maybe we should look for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to Mom again. If we keep an eye out Look if you we... wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. <laughs> Magic can help you, child. Find her.
This chisel we seek. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <clears throat> there was a giant once named Thamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Hrimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Hrimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son but in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. Oh no, he fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place, famed for worshipping the Vanir god Yord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag has got one. We seek a chisel. The tip of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. Didn't seem to do anything. Oh, neat trick, lad. Thanks. His idea. to the survivors. Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. We'll need something to get through this one. Follow me, Atreus. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Ugh! <laughs> 
Hardened World Tree Staff. That's Andy. What does it say? Sir, to Njord we offer back the sea's bounty. Ah yes, it was believed that Njord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that they loved and worshipped him here. How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Boy. Ready.
takes care of that. Wow, that was uh, something that the fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so it sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh, it doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> You let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. Can you guess it? Oh, and you. It doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. But how do we move forward? jewelry, didn't he? he? Even braided his beard with it. I happen to think he looks dashing. <laughs> you know, for a snow-covered corpse. <laughs> Right here! Do you want me to fire more arrows? Have you made it out of Fafnir's storeroom yet? We heading into that building? Yes. You think there's something inside that'll help us break the ice and get to the chisel tip? No. Mm. I'll keep thinking. to the dwarves.
Come here. You knew this place? Before? I came here on a diplomatic mission once, trying to broker a peace between Asgard and Vanaheim. That war. So many lives lost. What I didn't know was Thor had already gone on a killing spree of giants. What did the giants have to do with the war between the gods? Nothing at all, lad. That's the tragedy of it. They took no side in that madness. But Odin's paranoia is surpassed only by Thor's lust for blood. Atreus, to me! Another person. <laughs> Just give the word. Stealthy plan it is not. Now we must free the other strap. We do?
Why are we going up when what we need is all the way down there? Think. Well, the chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so melting it won't work. Correct. And there weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot, so that's not an option. Correct. That just leaves smashing the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to... Oh, I get it now. Good. going to turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel tip. Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck then? You are welcome to suggest a different one. Tight. Uh, the plan seems ill advised. Wait. Jump. fell little ways. <laughs> oh no! The floor is collapsed. There's a sand bowl, but how do we get to it? We cannot. Boy. What does it say? When time itself is disarrayed, the forward path is retrograde. Retrograde? It's backwards? Those symbols. The seasons? Yeah, but the order's all jumbled. Shouldn't it be winter, spring, summer, autumn? Why start with winter? It's from a song Mother used to sing. Don't I know that one? Winter lot. Quiet. Doesn't like music either. Got it. Boy. Vetter. House. Vetter. Suma. No, that wasn't right. I know that's the order in the song Mom said. Write it. Vetter. Bauer. Suma. House. <laughs> it didn't work. I know that's the order in the song Mom said. Atreus, that word. Thola. It means endure. Try it. 
Zola. Well done, lad. Write it again. Zola. Horizon! The energy's lifting the platform! Keep writing. Zola. 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 Head. How is this possible? My guess? Temporal magic. Dangerous stuff the High Vanir gods used to play around with. The ability to freeze time. Happened to be a favorite of New Ord himself, in fact. They used to. Why did they stop? Well, turns out stopping time keeps the sun and moon from streaking across the sky. Unfortunately, it does not stop the wolves that chase them. Always looking to sink their teeth in. After that, they decided it was best to leave time alone. I can't get to the wolves! to writing before the floor collapses. Thanks. The boy. Just having a little fun, you big grump. Well, there it is. How are we going to get it free? A push. But Trust me. Ready. Dig in and push with everything. 
Yes, sir. How do we get down? We jump. Really? Come. Do not panic. Why would I panic? I have you. You're cracked. You know that. Well, well. Good. We should keep moving. credit. He has a talent for destroying things. Remember that, Head. Never leaves my mind. Those are the guys we saw with Balder. His nephews? Aye. Magni and Modi. Sons of Thor. Mother always said the Aesir were the worst of gods. And Thor was the worst of the Aesir. Guess he's a terrible father, too. They are no longer children. They have no excuse. Will Sindri be okay? We'll never even see him. Ah, the great dining hall. Envy of all Midgard. Funny, I remember there being a massive candelabrum. Really livened up the place. We'll need something to get through this one. Help but break things, can you? Oh. If memory serves, the Jarl's throne was just on the other side of that wall of ice. Get 
But there's no way to use it. Take him down together. <laughs> Something ahead. See, lad, he's fine. Thought it best to vanish when Thor's idiot sons showed up. To work we go. Don't be a stranger. Would you focus on your damn <laughs> You quit that shit. I mean it. You went to war with them and walked away. Maybe. Uncle had to face straight in here. As long as Father believes him, so do it. So you will stop talking. Focus and help me. Honestly, I don't have much else going on right now. Hurry, brother. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Uh-oh. Yeah. Boy. Surrender. The old father demands it. No. This fight is mine, boy. Go! And where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother! The little freak's got a bow! What are we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Stay behind me, boy. Why do you hunt us? What does Odin want? Looks like they need another lesson. More than happy to teach, brother. Your mother ugly or something. She cut up your face so you'd look like her. Don't talk about my mother! Don't talk about my mother! Don't talk about my mother! 
Listen to him, lad. I'm trying to rile you up. Blood. The boy's sick. He needs Freya. No! Steady. I'll be all right. There you go, lad. <clears throat> I'm fine, see? We should keep an eye on him. Enough. Should do. With that, we can carve the travel rune to Jotunheim. Get you where you need to go. Oh, incidentally, all those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked. Like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel. He did. He was a god. But you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps. But I. And his father is Thor. Not minor. Not minor at all, him. This will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment, no. But if vengeance is any concern. Since when can you kill a god? <coughs> Travelers. Oh, disgusting. Mm, smelly, covered in God knows how many little beasties, but gorgeous armor. Let's see if I can't make something more sanitary. Yes? Poor Fafnir. There's a fine line between ambition and greed, you know. Lad's doing too well. I'm fine. <coughs> Nothing to worry about. If so, then keep up.
Magni didn't come back to life. That is interesting. It's known the Aesir find their own way to Valhalla. No Valkyrie escort, no processing at the gates of Helheim. That may be significant. Giant's hand. What? What is this place? Fishermen would bring the day's catch into this port and use that contraption to send some of it directly to the Jarl's main kitchen. The rest were sorted and sold. There is an exit under the thumb. Find a way across. There's a path to the exit on the other side. Back under his palm. We're almost there. Everything we just did. 
climbed around a dead giant, rode a giant falling hammer, fought some bad gods. What do you think Mother would say? Bet you have come a long way. Thanks. What now then? Maybe Freya ought to have a look at the boy. No, I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well, now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel rune to Jotunheim, so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak, and open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? Alas, no. But the serpent did mention that the giants had entrusted that secret to Tyr. Isn't Tyr dead? Aye, but his hidden bolt is very much in reach. The doors are beneath his temple, submerged in the lake for generations until our snake friend shifted his weight. There we shall find the fabled Black Rune of Jotunheim. We could also explore some more. We got that chisel now, and that vault isn't going anywhere. Seems a shame to waste the boat. We shall see, boy. What were you saying about the long war? Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people. A selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. vault is behind that magical lock. Setting foot in Tears Vault. Another one of these. There's something over there. It's Tear, but the middle panel is missing. Wait, I thought Tear was a god, not a giant. Ah, but he was loved by everyone, including the giants. Other than me, he was the only one they gifted with their special sight. Hey. I wonder if the Giants left a triptych about me somewhere, too. Go ahead. Actually, come look. Let me show you how to read this. That is not necessary. You've taught me so much. Let me teach you something. Atreus. Come on. You already speak it. Learning to read won't be that hard. I know how to read, boy. Just not this tongue. You're halfway there already, then. Okay, so the runes represent a lot of different things. Some gods, 
some animals. Wait. Some... Oh, am I going too fast? Sorry. Not I'll... that. Do you smell something? Yeah, I do. Smells like rain. <laughs> <laughs> Everything! I earned that fucking hammer! But now, everyone's gonna think I only got it. Cause Magni's gone! Won't be a joke! But if I kill you, no one's gonna laugh at me. Oh, are you dumb? That your father's doing? Or did you get it from your mum? She's stupid and ugly. Shut up! <laughs> you don't know anything about my mother. Oh, it's true. But I'm gonna get to know you really well. You're gonna be my new brother. Right after I finish killing your father! Stop it! Whoops! I think I broke him! <laughs> oh, no! Stay back! Brother, the boy. Atreus. You have to get into Freya quickly. There's no other way. Take the boat. Freya's isn't far. Odin's eye is on you, brother. Especially now that you've taken to killing his kin. Freya's forest is a blind spot for him. This is our smartest move. And if anyone can heal him, it's her. What is happening to him? I've seen it in mortals that some conflict of the mind expresses itself as an ailment of the body. Never in a god. But a god believing himself mortal. I can only imagine. We're almost there. Somebody just called the serpent.
Ivo burns hotter. He is shaking. It's serious. We must hurry. I'm still a god. Go away. The boy has fallen ill. Freya! He's ill. Inside. This is no ordinary illness. The boy's true nature, your true nature, fights within him. There's a rare ingredient found only in Helheim. The keeper that protects the Bridge of the Damned. I need its heart. Mm -hmm. Hell. The Realm of the Dead. Do you know it? Not this one. It is a land of unyielding gold. Fires cannot burn there, and no magic in all the Nine Realms can create a blaze. As for the dead, your Frost Axe will be useless. You'll need to find something else. Then I must return home. Deacon Papast, I swore, would stay buried. Who you were before doesn't matter. This boy is not your past, he is your son. And he needs his father. This rune opens the bridge to Helheim. When you are there, do not under any circumstances cross the Bridge of the Damned. There is no road back. Understand? Boy. Himmel, you must hurry. Through my garden, there's a path leading to my boat. Take it. Return home. Dig up your past. Do whatever you need to do. Just bring me back the Bridge Keeper's heart, and your son may survive. Last we spoke, I was... No. You were right to distrust the word of a god. No need to explain. Not to me, not for that. I will keep him safe. That's a mother's promise. <laughs> 